myself because I just don't feel safe here. But I do want to give you one piece of good news that day and night, every few minutes, sometimes seconds, I can hear our IDF, our incredible army, bombing the living daylights out of Hamas. And it is giving me so much strength. Uh, you can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear now. I hope that they are showing Hamas just this much of the wrath of God, showing them that if you touch a single hair on any Jew's head, we will come and we will bomb you until we just obliterate you from the face of the earth. Hamas is such pure evil. Anyways, here in Australia, we can hear everything. I'm going to Jerusalem now, God willing. We're going to leave because I, I just cannot take the constant bombing. <laughs> And like the sirens are, are pretty much nonstop. I mean, like there's breaks in between. Anyways, that's my update. Hashem, please be with our soldiers. I'm so grateful to every single one of our troops for going to the most dangerous parts in Israel right now and fighting for us. And I can hear Hamas being um, pulverized and it's the greatest sound I've ever heard in my life. All right, stay there, stay. Do you know the level of cognitive dissonance you need to be able to have to not only gleefully post online that you are enjoying the bombing that you know includes children and civilians that are not a part of a part of Hamas, but not only that, say in the same sentence, well, I'm so tired of hearing the sounds of bombs that I'm gonna go somewhere where I don't hear them. And honestly, this is a moment where I need a lot of Americans to wake the fuck up because I have seen the amount of people who are saying, well, if you don't want to see scary stuff, like stay off of the internet for the weekend. I need people to recognize right now that there are children being unalived in mass. And this woman is gleefully talking about bombs dropping on them. And it's funny because there's all these people who are pro-Israel who are coming and saying, well, how dare you all? And the destruction is massive. There won't be any way back after what Israel is doing to the Gaza Strip. So four hours ceasefire, yes, to let people breathe and to remember what is the sound of life without bombing before starting bombing them again. It's very cynical and cruel. Now with the evacuation order of 1.1 million people from northern Gaza, uh, pushing them south while the south is still being bombed. Of course, they're being forced out of the Gaza Strip. And by the way, mind you, there is already a plan as a reconquista, a plan to reoccupy and build Israeli cities and Israeli beaches on the northern Gaza. Where is the international community? This is a failure of the international community from a humanitarian, political and legal point of view. Western countries who are the guardians of democratic values should be, should be helping instead of enforcing a system of, uh, of suprematism as they're doing. They are enabling by not addressing Israel's violations of international law, they are enabling them. But there's absolutely no place in the Gaza Strip that is safe. There is not one.